Heading into another weekend of August, we have a different change up here in our pattern after dealing with some big time summer heat over not only just the last week, but all the way into July. We're now focusing more on moisture as we are going to deal with a lot of monsoon moisture that is going to be lifting in. Biggest concerns are down across areas of Colorado, but it will extend up through our area with at least some scattered thunder chances nearly daily. We'll have some times of some isolated downpours due to that um, rich moisture sticking across the area, and one of those days we are watching here is into our Friday where we're also noting that after a dip in our temperatures as our Thursday did hold highs generally to the 60s we did just flirt with 70 for a high temperature into Casper but as we head into tomorrow we are going to have a high of 77 and look at this coincident forecasted high of 77 average is 88 Record is 99. Double numbers that are stacking up. But looking at those averages compared to those forecasts, still a generally cooler than normal pattern. As we'll note that even our day does start off with some of those grayer skies. But we're expecting to see at least some filtered sunshine, especially afternoon hours, to help those temperatures to get into those 70s. Now, we're still going to be talking about those some scattered areas of some showers and a few thunderstorms, especially with some warming that is going to bring in some of that rumble. But here we are into the afternoon looking brighter. But there's those waves of energy that will lift across the region with some thunderstorms and some localized downpours taking us there into Saturday. And then again, still lots of little waves of moisture that will slide through with these scattered shower and thunderstorm chances. They will be a bit more disorganized at times. Some will see more organization and will continue to fine tune those chances. But overall, we can see that we do stay in a very strong moisture field. What we're watching is right over the continental divide. There is going to be nearly a stationary front and low pressure system in place, keeping that moisture at an influx across our area. So daily chances will continue to be possible again this is going to help some of our drought conditions but not a lot of organization with the storms developing just along a, a stationary front there's not a lot of carry like a warm front or a cold front could bring so again we'll have to continue to fine-tune the forecast as the days continue to move through but what is going to be a bit more consistent is the gradual warming trend we even note that across much of the cowboy state into our friday temperatures are back on the climb still some low 70s to some 60s but bumping up to try to get closer to those 80s east of the divide the still some of that cooler feel, especially where some gray skies may hang on or even some patchy fog to start off the day. But then the afternoon sunshine is what should bump temperatures up. And then we'll continue to see so still some daily sunshine in the mix with highs looking to try to continue to push upwards there, getting a few more of those 80s on Saturday. But that daily thunder risk is going to continue to inundate that forecast. So looking at chances to take us all the way into next week. But we do continue to watch that that temperature does climb back upwards of at least those upper 80s as early as about Tuesday. Day Wednesday. So that gets us closer to seasonal, but we could continue to see that not only will we have these chances for storms in the next seven days, but we could continue to see this past our seven day forecast.